about to pop up in your mouth, but then you look at your hand. What do you find on your hand, the person who cheered for heaven? It's melted. Exactly. And you see colors and chocolate. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Which means, if Tucker Carlson were to fuck a bucket of M&M's, <laughs> he would have a rainbow poop dick. <laughs> We're analyzing the fact that Tucker Carlson came out as gay on Fox News. <laughs> he literally went on Fox and was like, yes, I am gay and I'm also kink positive because I want to fuck basically an animated furry. <laughs> All right? And that's just a beautiful thing. And you're like, Emily, how can you go from point A to point B and have it make no sense? Fox News, baby, I can say whatever the fuck I want. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, anyways, how, how's everyone here? So we're almost into month two, yeah? That's what they tell me, I'm not really sure. <laughs> but uh, how's, how's everyone here start? Everyone have like a good New Year's kiss? No. no. <laughs> Same. Just all women disappointed. All guys are like, yeah! <laughs> it wasn't that good, I promise. <laughs> no, but I, uh, so I did it, I started my year off weird, and I know that's on me, because I, uh, I did my first kiss with a guy named Brad. <laughs> It's never good to hook up with someone who sounds like they have a lawyer on speed dial. <laughs> right? It's like, mm, no, means yeah, she really wanted it. <laughs> uh, this is like wise woman. Like, you can't hook up with someone named Kyle. Because you hook up and then you're like, ah, I'm addicted to the math that happens. <laughs> Not again. Uh, but, you know, I, uh, I know my. I'm turning 25 this year. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I am kind of concerned about how my year is going, right? Because I run three Instagram accounts because I hate myself. <laughs> and so one of them is personal, for my personal account. Uh, another one's for my podcast. What? She has a podcast? Oh, my God. <laughs> what is it? Oh, my God. Thank you so much for asking. <laughs> uh, I run a political comedy podcast. Uh, I have a blood for punishment. That's why I live in New York. It's the place where mask is with dreams. <laughs> yeah. um, but so, yeah. So then I run a political comedy podcast. I have an Instagram page for that. And then I also have my comedy Instagram because I'm convinced I'm going to make it. <laughs> I my goal in life is just to tell my mom, just every time she's finding me, to have her not be like, but she's thinking of going to grad school. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But uh, so I always know how I'm doing based on the targeted ads I'm getting in my Instagram account, right? So for my personal account, it's all like how to make friends as an adult. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> for my podcast one, it's like how to better market yourself. And I know my comedy career is going absolutely nowhere because all the ads I get on that one are it's not too late to donate your eggs. <laughs> <laughs> That's not great. But, uh, <laughs> so I am turning 25 this year. And I, so apparently when you turn 25, your brain starts like cell, right? Which means I have about four brain cells to last me the next 60 years. I'm very excited. <laughs> um, for reference, I've had COVID three times. <laughs> Sucks. Yeah, three times. <laughs> okay. I've had the vaccine four times, and I've had COVID three times. Right? <laughs> I would still fuck Dr. Fauci. I do feel like too. That's fine. Anyway, I don't have a lot of brain cells. That's the moral of the story. But so when you're turned 25, right, your brain's supposed to chill out. And I've been reflecting a lot about all the things that was just stupid when I was younger, right? And one of the things was is that I just I'm just like very cavalier about who brings me places. And you know how when you go to the airport, you see the signs that are all like, if someone's offering you a ride, they should not be giving it to you, and you're like, what kind of stupid person is that sign for? <laughs> hey. <laughs> uh, the problem is me. <laughs> uh, yes, when I was about 17 years old, I did get into the car of a random person at the airport. Um, I made it. I am real. <laughs> it is me. Uh, no, it was very stupid. Um, you know, because he was like, I just don't want to pay the Uber fees. And me being a people pleaser, I was like, I get it. I'm Jewish. I would also want to save money. <laughs> you know? But uh, the thing is, it's like now, like I would like never, ever take a car from the like, airport again, right? And that's just solely because I can't afford it. Anyways, I'm Emily Grouch. You guys are <laughs>